Just the one change for Dundee United after their 2-0 loss against Hearts in the Scottish Cup fourth round last weekend. Neve Guthrie comes in for Nyla Murphy. And three changes for Glasgow City. Erin Clackers, Chloe Warrington and Megan Foley coming in for Lee Gibson, Amy Muir and Abby Grant. Just one win in Dundee United's last seven isn't too encouraging. Glasgow have won their last three on the trot after winning 4-0 against Spartans through the week. They started encouragingly here as well with an early corner for Leanne Ross's side. Lauder lofts that to the back post there and Greening's in there, she nods. Glasgow City into the lead after only 45 seconds. What a start. Here is Greening, the goal scorer. Right to Lauren Davidson. Slips in Kozak. United, able to clear this time. Although Claire Delworth is taking her time over it. Davidson. Well, it comes all the way to Hayley Lauder. Simple finish. And a goal of United zone making. Just too slack at the back. And Lauder punishes them. Lofted ball forward, which Moore should gather. Clacker's under a bit of pressure, but she finds Jenna Clark. Oh, that's a slack pass. Here's Danny McGinley. Tries from distance. Fine finish from Danny McGinley. And United have a goal back. It was sloppy from Glasgow City. A good drive from McGinley. How will City respond to losing that goal? Well, they've broken the offside line, despite the protests. Here's Emily Whelan, good save, it comes back to her. And after two minutes, City restore the two-goal cushion. It's Emily Whelan with the goal. Comfortable 3-1 lead at half-time. Well, City extend the scoreline in the second half. Here's a good chance now. It's Foley. She cuts back to Forrest. Well saved. And there's Lauren Davidson to get her name on the score sheet. Just over the hour mark. And Glasgow City starting to pull away from their hosts at Gussie Park. Simple ball forward, finds King of Kozak in behind. She pokes beyond McNichol. Oh, fantastic from Cassie Cowper. Didn't give up on that. They may be 4-1 down, but that's determined defending. City take it short. Kozak pulls it back to Warrington. Clip to the back post there's Erin Greening in again. She scuffs the shot, but it goes all the way in. Not quite a fantastic fifth. Erin Greening won't mind. So that shot trundles across the face of goal. It's another short corner from City. As they work the ball around. Here's Chinchia to the back post. Erin Greening's in again. She's got her hat trick. Not the usual suspect when it comes to the goals. But a hat-trick for her today, Erin Greening. Another lofted ball over the top. That's a great cross in. There's Lisa Forrest with her first City goal. Fantastic cross from Megan Foley. Inch perfect. And she slots past McNichol. Chinchia works it into the midfield and then plays the through ball for Hayley Lauder. What can she do? Looks up, there's Forrest again. It's a second for Forrest, it's an eighth for City. A comfortable win and they'll open up a six point lead at the top of the table.
We need to take every opportunity just to, to keep ourselves up at the top of the table and keep pushing ahead. We can't control anything that happens out with our games, but um, we can certainly go and take advantage when it happens. So uh, we asked them to come out nice and quick today, which we did. We got that early start, the early goal, and it just settled us down and allowed us to go and play. Yeah, it was really difficult. I felt the girls showed a real good um, attitude to kind of respond after the, the two early goals. and. Um, I don't think we obviously deserved anything from the game, but I certainly think the scoreline was probably really harsh on the girls. Being asked to take on this position at the minute, um, I'm just trying to do the job to the best of my ability, um, and we just need to wait and see what the, the club decide is the best route forward. Sure, thanks.